Namaskaram everyone. Welcome back to the first episode of our master level design series. And in this episode, we are going to build four different type of walls for our game. This series is in continuation of our master Unreal series. We completed 10 episodes in that series till now. And we have established the entire locomotion system, which allow our character to walk, run and switch between different states, jump, fall from different heights. And now we need assets for our game. And we are going to use this Blender tool, which is open source and freely available. So I request you to please download it from their official website. The link is in description and let's begin our first episode. Okay, so fire up your Blender, create a new file. And in this, you will find a cube placed at the world origin. Now, first we are going to create a wall. For this, I want you to enable this snapping. This would allow you to move your object from vertex to vertex instead of moving it freely. So after enabling it, just make sure the snap base is closest, snap target is increment and the effect is move. Press five on your keyboard. This would take you to the user orthographic and press one to get into the front orthographic view. Move your cube along the Z axis to make sure the base lies on the X axis. So G, Z and then move it and leave it there. Now let's increase the height of our wall. So I'll press S, Z. This would allow you to scale in the Z direction. And instead of using your mouse to scale, just press two and this would increase the height by two meters. Press enter and then move it on top again. You can hold your middle mouse button to come back to the user perspective. So let's press five again to go in user orthographic and press three. This would take you in right orthographic view. And now you press S, Y and press 0.2. So this is our thickness. Now, if you hold your middle mouse button and then drag, you can see our wall is prepared. Just select, press control A and then apply all transforms. Now you see your origin is moved to the center of the world origin where your 3D cursor is placed. If you undo, you can see it was in the middle of this entire object, basically the center of mass. But as soon as I apply the transform, it moved to the world origin, or I must say to the position of 3D cursor. There is another way to bring this origin to this place is by right click set origin to 3D cursor. This would move your center of mass or the origin of this object to the place where the 3D cursor is located. So this is our wall. Just double click on this and rename it to wall. All right. I suggest you make a save here. I'll say house kit. All right. Now let's move ahead and create a space for door in this wall. So I'll select it, press shift D to duplicate it. And instead of moving like freely, you can press X so that it moves in the X direction only. Now this gives you another wall. Let's hide this one by pressing H. You can bring it back by pressing Alt H or you can press this eye icon here. Now let's move this back to our origin. Now let's make an opening for the door. Select this object, press tab to go in the edit mode. Now press control R. Now move it by 1.5. Okay. And release it. And now let's add another loop cut, but this time vertically. Just release it so that it comes to center by default. Now, once this is done, I want you to go back into the front orthographic. Enable this X-ray mode from here. This will allow you to select faces that are behind. Once you select this, press X to delete the faces. Once you delete the faces, come back, disable the X-ray, select this object, apply a mirror modifier that would mimic everything you do here in the right side as well. So if you go to edit mode, you can see you can only edit one of the sides. So now if I add another vertical loop cut, and move it let's say by minus 0 0.7 and then release it by left click and then go to face mode by pressing 3 so to delete this just enable the x-ray again and select this delete the faces now you can see it mimics your behavior in the right side now once this is done you will see some empty space we need to fill it up press 2 to go in the edge mode 
So to join this, let's first enable the clipping and then select these two edges by holding shift and then press F. This will fill the gap. Now do the same here. Select these two edges, fill it up. Here, you have your door ready. Now let's save it. Also, let's go to front orthographic view. Again, enable the X-ray in the edge mode. Select this edge, press Z, Z, and then press minus 0 0.8 and enter. So this would bring your height to this 1.2 position in the Z axis. Disable the X-ray. So now you have your door ready. Press tab to come out from the edit mode. And now let's rename it to wall with door. Okay. And if I bring the other one as well, enable the vertex snap G X to move it in the X direction. So you have your wall and a wall with the door. Now let's make the corner side of the house. That is nothing but two connected walls. So for this, let's hide this, duplicate this one. Okay. Hide this one. Now this is wall. 001 and now I want you to duplicate it again and move it in Y direction by one meter and then press R Z and rotate it by 90 degrees. Once you rotate it, just drag it in X direction such that their faces intersect. Now go in edit mode for the first wall, go into the face mode by pressing three, select this face press share and now we are going to rotate this uh, face by this axis so let's release it and then you will find this small drop down here change its value to one okay so you'll see it is perfectly diagonal now in the z axis okay now i want you to come out of this edit mode select this object go in edit mode again select this face and then Rotate it, release it, whatever the value is, and go for minus one. Now you can see the walls are joined. And you will see the origin is at the center. So if you try to press R and Z, you will see it is rotating in middle. But we want it to be rotated from this corner. So what we will do is go in the edit mode, press one to go in vertex mode. And now select this vertex, go in the select mode, and then press shift S. This would bring you this pop up. Go for cursor to active. This would bring your cursor at this vertex and then go back to object mode. Select this and right click set origin to 3D cursor and this would bring your origin to this vertex. And now if you press R and Z, now you see it is rotating perfectly. We do the same for this. Press tab, select this vertex. So the vertex of this particular wall is also at the same place. So I would just directly go for set origin to 3D cursor. And now if you rotate the wall, you will see it's rotating at this point. Now if you join this by selecting, you will be able to move this entire thing. And now you can make your building walls and let's rename it to connected walls. So you have three different type of walls now. Now let's create another wall that has a opening for window. So I'll just duplicate this, hold X, and then it will bring it on the X axis. So I'll go in the edit mode, press Ctrl R, and I'll create two loop cuts by scrolling up. So as you scroll up, you will increase the loop cuts. If you scroll down, you will reduce it. So I want two loop cuts, press left click, right click to release wherever they are, and then press S, Z, and here we will apply a value of 1.5. So this is one of the ways to increase the gap between two loop cuts. Now we want another loop cut in middle, just release it so that it stays in the middle. We would like to delete this entire half, but you can see it is not selected. So I will enable the X-ray, go for five, one to get in front orthographic, select X faces. Once this is done, come out of this X-ray and add a mirror modifier. It should be in X axis, go back to your edit mode apply another loop cut in middle press right click now let's delete this middle face i'll switch to face mode by pressing three and then i'll go in x-ray mode five one select this again and now i press x and face 
you see it created a window for us you can increase the size of window by going back to edit mode go for edge mode and then select this entire edge press g x and move it so that you can increase the size of window i like to keep it minus 0.7 so let's release it and now disable the x-ray fill these gaps by selecting edit mode edge mode select these two edges press f to fill select these two press f to fill select these two press f to fill now you have your window so now you have four walls a basic wall a wall with a door opening a joint wall and a wall with the window also you can do one more thing uh, if you go back to edit mode and enable x-ray and select this press g z then you can expand this a little up you can reduce the window height as well but i would like to keep this one for now we will expand as per our requirements later on so that's it for this video hit like share it with your friends subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next episode till then stay tuned bye bye